Something that can be um, a little bit more complicated than the twist is the braid. So what I do is I start with the deep side part. And this also, if you do a zigzag part, just heads up, it'll help hide your regrowth. If you have roots growing in, like I'm gonna have real soon, if you do a zigzag part anywhere, whenever you part your hair, just go in with a point, something pointy, and just separate your, your part with a zigzag. It helps hide a lot. So here, if you can braid, you can do a Dutch braid across the top. What I do is I split it into three pieces, I add to the front, I add to the back, and then I do my braid. Then I add to the front, hold the middle, add to the back. You can also just add to one side if you wanted to. You could just add to the front piece and take underlying hair just to kind of get some of your hair out of your way. If you're just trying to tie your hair up and get it out of your way, then at, when you reach to the end and you don't have any more hair, just do a regular braid. When you have a regular braid and tie it off, you can really make it cute by doing your band and then sort of fanning out your braid. So this is what they do on Pinterest a lot. So what they do is they take, start at the bottom, and you want to take the outside part of your braid. You see me doing this. See how I take the outside part? And then pull the outside part, and it'll make it a lot easier to fan out if you start at the bottom. And then I have a super cute Dutch braid. I think I'll wear my hair like this. If you get the little tails from your bangs, you can either pull them out or you can tuck them in and pin them, kind of like what I did before. Um, the other thing you can do is if you have a really wide fan of braiding, you can wrap it up in a circle and then it kind of looks like a rose a little bit. The tail underneath, that's really the trick, is keeping the tail underneath, right? And then you can pin that. So you can leave it down or you can pin it so that it's up on the side of your head and you have like a little side braid. And then it looks. More like a little flower. And this is a Dutch braid and I happen to pull the side up and give it a little bit of detail work, but it's something you can do at home because we know that when we look better, we feel better. So anything I can do to help you, let me know. Send questions uh, through my website if you want, or you can DM me on Instagram at Lori Fudens underscore Redkin Artist.